Hi you guys, my name is Carly Lynn and I'm an illustrator and I do a lot of illustrations for Friction Magazine. Here it is. If you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check it out. It's an awesome literary magazine and they have tons of amazing short stories and poems and I'm always super excited to get a commission from them because each piece in the magazine is so amazingly different and it's a really a great chance for an illustrator like me to experiment with different styles and make something that kind of fits the project. Today I'm going to talk to you about my process for coming up with the illustration for the feature that Danny did with Yaa Jesse. Um, Yaa Jesse is this amazing author who um, recently debuted with her book Homegoing. And um, it's an amazing book. Check it out. Uh, and Danny's interview with her is also really, really interesting because it goes through Ya Jesse's process and um, talks about how she wrote the book and everything. So I'm going to talk to you about my process for coming up with the illustration for that feature. Let's take a look. So this is the final first page of the Ya Jesse feature. And I think I have the final back page over here. It looks kind of like that. And then you can imagine in the blank space, that's where text will go. So how do I get uh, from a blank page to uh, something that looks like this? Uh, I'll talk about my process. Um, the first thing is, I only had the book cover to go off of, which is this yellow and uh, red and blue and white and black um, idea here. So I wanted to copy that into the background and you can see with the texture and everything in the background to give it depth. Um, it's kind of back there. It's just a little bit different and a little bit textural. And then coming up with the whole process, um, the first thing is thumbnails. Uh, start with a page and I start sketching and drawing different ideas for how it could look and then I send them off to the art directors at Friction and they tell me which one they like the best but to get to the thumbnails I usually go on Pinterest first and I just start looking for like I'll do random word searches for things like inspirational or like whatever feeling I want to convey and then I'll collect a bunch of pins of things that I think are interesting, styles that are interesting, maybe shapes or color schemes that are interesting, and I'll kind of like get some inspiration that way. And then usually, uh, you know, they'll tell me which one they like the best of my thumbnails, and so we ended up going with B here, but as you can see, the the final product usually ends up looking a little bit different from the thumbnail just because that's part of the creative process. Like, you know, having like a, the originally it was very graphic and the face is red and, but that was just a little bit too much. So um, ended up going with something a little bit more pretty. Um, the first thing is I get this uh, page, which is the blocking from the art directors and they, have the text on there and the title and then um, as you can see I added a layer that was all the same yellow color as the book and uh, then I have you know my lines on a separate layer from my shading um, so then I kind of go through and I add more layers of shading and I experiment with colors and stuff like that so you can see there's some experimentation with colors and different levels of shading and then I brought in the book cover so I could trace the little hills and everything for the background there and uh, wash that out to give it a little bit of depth and atmospheric perspective then some more of that background and here I wanted the, the shine from the sun to hit her a little bit so I think that's a overlay soft light blending mode to make that look shiny like that. I was playing with a little bit of the red, but I don't think I ended up going with the red because that was um, maybe a little bit too much. Then I have some layers where I put in some shines, some adjustment layers. There's my shine layer. See the shines make it look, I think, kind of glossy and cool. Then I have more layers where I'm just kind of filling in the lines and uh, I know I have a few layers where I started to add texture and experiment with different textural looks. 
there's some more texture. They're playing it with a little bit more color. So some red on the soft light to give it that sort of look. Um, then eyelashes and some texture and painting and color into the hair there. So a little bit more hair color there. Some more lighting that looks like a yellow on soft light blending mode. Little earring. What else do I have? Oh, and then the reason I have that yellow layer is because I decided to do texture on a layer mask. And so I merged my layers together, put the texture on a layer mask, and then put in the color yellow in the background. So that gives it this look like it's kind of fading away. Um, and the texture is kind of cutting into the illustration itself. You can especially see it down here, right? You can see the texture kind of eating into her shoulder there, which is pretty cool. And there's a little bit more, a little shiny. Um, I think that's soft light or no, just normal blending mode for the sun to hit her and See, it's kind of like a process of experimentation and you start with you start with something that kind of looks like a picture and then you just experiment with adding color and you experiment with, you know, cr deciding what your focal point is going to be and using perspective to make things look farther away and closer up. And, um, you know, the main focus is going to end up being her eyes. So whatever I could do to minimize the details of everything else and then make the focal point point her eyes um, that helps to make a stronger composition and uh, I'll take you through the different versions of the back page so this is the final back page merge but I sent them some different versions so one where it's like super crisp and clear and one where it's <laughs> blurry like that. I use motion blur uh, on some merge layers and I think I did duplicated layers and put one on overlay mode to to make it look like that and then different versions where there's just playing with color like that. So that's start to finish from thumbnail versions to our finished PSD which looks like that.